guys, it's Maisie and welcome back to another video. So for today's video I thought I'd film a cute little get ready with me, purely for the fact that I haven't done one in forever. And I thought I'd talk about some things with you and that's it really, I just thought I'd do a cute little get ready with me. So basically I'm off to a Halloween party tonight, so I'm getting ready for that. It's at my friend's Mia's, you all know Mia, she's been on my channel, my little bestie. I'm having a Halloween party tonight. Obviously I'm going, I'm going as a Playboy bunny, so that's fun. I think it's very basic, very, very basic, everyone goes as them. So, it is about half five, quarter six, I need to be there by seven. So I should be fine, I should all be fine. I've only got my face to do, it shouldn't take that long, hopefully. So, I suppose if you want to see me get beat, <laughs> we should get in to the video. Look how cute, my little, oh, you see my teddy in the background, you can't see like, the entirety of him but he's there just chilling cute little archie i am sat at my desk i'll show you the cute little setup after at the end of the video because i want you to see the new the new mirror because she was anything so this will be the new like setup i do for my beauty videos because it's just easier to film it like this because of how the setup of my like desk is and my mirror i don't know what i'm doing and that's okay. Also, look what I've dragged out. The really old cat ears I had from like two years ago, which I use all the time on this channel. Madness. I brought this new, like, um, Maybelline Superstay Foundation. It's definitely in the wrong shade. Just as a bit orange. But then the Wet n Wild one, which I normally use, is too pale. So I'm gonna have to, I think I'm gonna have to go with the Rimmel London. I don't even know what this is called. Lasting finish, 25 hour breathable foundation because it looks more correct than this i don't know maybe they look the same they look about the same should i just use the super stay and see what happens or, or not risk it i don't know what to do in this situation that's really dark i'm not risking that that's gone straight on the towel oopsies whoops i'm so gonna put in my elbow or something in that it looks okay to be fair I've got a hefty spot at the moment on my top lip and I'm it's just in it's just in the way really to be honest it's quite in my way oh I forgot how much I love putting this applying this foundation it's because of this dope applicator I feel like I should put the main light on that's better oh no sweetie I think it's safe to say that this foundation is a match <laughs> it's really old it's been like over for a year though so I mean I think maybe buy a new bottle of it would be a great start maybe oh yeah mm, this is really nice foundation you know when you haven't used a foundation in like ages and you just forget you just scoot on in and you forget like how nice it actually is that has just happened i just had that moment so now my favorite concealer of all time the l'oreal infallible concealer i my favorite foundation is a l'oreal infallible but i've run out of it and i need to buy some more i just haven't had time to i think i'm running out of this concealer as well what a nightmare what a bloody nightmare it is darren i'm claustrophobic darren doing a bit of juicy oh my god right so lately i've been getting like proper into podcasts and I mean like proper, I mean like proper. Like I don't understand what it is, but I just, I'm obsessed with podcasts at the moment. Um, I just find them so like relaxing. And honestly, just side note, I keep flicking between the viewfinder and the camera lens. So my eyes are going a bit like this at the moment. So if you're wondering what the hell I'm doing in this video, that's just why. And I can't really break the habit at the moment, so there we go. I'm I'm sat in my free periods at school. I'm listening to my podcasts. I'm sat at the gym. Well, not sat. I'm actually working out at the gym. But you get what I mean. I'm listening to my podcasts. I, I am fully obsessing at the moment with podcasts. And I don't know what it is. My favourite ones are Sophie and Chin's years. I love them as YouTubers. They are one of my top favourite YouTubers. I love them both to death. They're so nice. They're stunning girls. Their videos are so, so good. And I find their podcasts really, like, entertaining and just useful because it's all about, like, girl talk and, like, boy drama 
and stuff like that like it's just normal day-to-day -day topics that people go through and they're like giving advice and talking through them absolutely here for it and then the other one that i'm also living for is jenna collins oh my god right jenna collins is one of my inspirations in life i love the girl well i love the woman two pieces um i've been watching her in towie because i'm obsessed with towie like way too obsessed with towie it's one of my favorite shows go in i watched towie after i found out who Gemma collins was actually fun fact for you all fun fact um but yeah Gemma collins i love her everything she does i watch it like when she was on dancing on ice i was living for it she tried so well and she did so well with it on it bless her and i was so proud i'm saying this as if i know a person there i don't but i wish i did it's one of them situations and um what was i saying i just love her podcast because she's so over dramatic in them just like she's in real life and i just love it like you get the the, the true Gemma you get more Gemma on the podcast than you do GC and as much as I do love GC two pieces I do love Gemma more just because she's more like chilled and less over dramatic but then again I do love the over dramatic GC like she does bring some great entertainment to the world oh no I could feel something in my eye where's my mirror oh that's a nice chisel Maisie proud of that one I've lost the bronzer. Is it in here? Is it in here? Is that it? That's the highlighter. <laughs> I do love a good podcast. What else is there? The Red Party. Red? Is it called the... It's called like the Red Cup Party or something like that. It's got Connor Ball in and one of his friends. I don't know what the other one's called. I'm really sorry. I think he might be called Jack. I'm not too sure though. Don't quote me on it. But it's got kind of ball from the vamps and that is the only reason i watch it and listening to it because i'm obsessed with the vamps as we all know i see them year in year out but um love it because it's all about like parties and wild nights out and like your stories from them and i just find it so entertaining and plus connor's in it and i love connor's a bit blessing but also imogen nations she's the one that got me into podcasts how can i forget to mention her imogen nations what's it called girl Hun hotline or maybe that's the thing that was called. i don't know what imagination is called but i know there's something called the hun hotline in there um yeah because sophie and chinges is the girls bathroom and i love the name for it and i wish i went to see their live show of it in nottingham so mad i didn't go to see that but yeah podcasts are a big hit with me at the moment absolutely vibing off them i just think they're beautiful one thing i have been loving and i think everybody on the internet has is the new Shane Dawson. I think that's wiped my f contour off my forehead. So maybe let's not use that brush. Ooh. It is the Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star collab. Honestly, I'm obsessed with it. Like, it is an issue. We all know it's an issue. We all know that when the products come out, I'm buying them. I mean, the day I'm shooting this is Wednesday, which is the day before Halloween it's the 30th and the products come out on friday which is the first of november and this video is going up on the sunday so by the time i upload this video we all know whether i've managed to get the products or not hopefully i have because i'm gonna cry if i don't because i want them so bad um but yeah i just personally think that what they're doing is absolutely crazy it's insane i'm actually in love with it like i don't know anybody else to be able to pull off something on such a scale like they are it has never really been done before in the beauty community when you think of it because they've got obviously they've got their collaboration like yeah okay everyone's done collaborations in the beauty community for like bloody everybody has done collaborations at this point but nobody has really done collaborations to the scale that they have obviously because jeffree star is already a massive mainstream youtuber that everybody knows and loves and then if you put shane dawson in the mix is also a massive youtuber who everybody adores and loves who makes series about other youtubers which is absolutely crazy and insane and such a marvelous creation right everybody sits there waiting for his series to come out everybody loves shane like i don't know a person who i've never ever met someone who doesn't love Shane in his videos 
Like he's so amazing at what he does and like he's such a talented human being and we're so privileged to have him on this planet. I think that this is such a good collaboration. Like I think it's so cute and nice to see him like getting into makeup and wanting to take it all seriously because there's not really many people out there who are like that. He will be in one like media sector. I want to transfer into another while still being in that one. Like, do you know what I mean? He's cr doing like cross media and I'm here for it. I am really here for it. Obviously they're bringing out the main conspiracy palette, the mini controversy palette. And then, is it five? Five liquid lipsticks, but then a lip gloss. And then obviously they've got all their merch to go with it, which is like their makeup bags phone cases, hoodies, backpacks. It's insane, it's actually mentally insane. But like, I think it's crazy what they are managing to achieve and how much they are like putting into it and how much they are like giving to the audience. I think it's crazy, like how much, like to be fair, when they first were on about it back like last year in um, that series that Shane done with Jeffrey about his life, I genuinely thought it was just going to be like, oh, just a nice little casual palette they're going to make together, one-off thing. But no, they've made like an entire collection of clothes and makeup. And then even Andrew has a little side bit in it. And I'm here for it. I really am here for it. I just think it is so cute. And I think it's so cool the fact that we can watch the series and follow the production of it and then also see all the behind the scenes of like the little dramas they've gone through over the year and that's insane like i think it's so so sick because it's not been done before so it means it's unique so it is also a massive selling point for the product when you think about it I think it's so cute that he's named the liquid lipsticks after like his family i just think they're the cutest things ever the shade that I am most excited for is Tanacon. Like, mm -mm, sorry, what now? Shade Tanacon. Yeah. Okay, it's not the most exciting colour in the palette. It is just a nice beigey nude colour. But the fact that it's called Tanacon. Like, so you know? So you win now? Like, I love Tanamojo. I do, like she is one of my favourite YouTubers. I love her to bits. And I love the um, the documentary and series that Shane did with Tanner about TanaCon. And obviously that was one of his first, was it his first or was it his second? I can't remember whether he did TanaCon or Jeffrey's Life first. I think it might have been TanaCon. I'm not too sure. But... I just think it's crazy to think that Tanner has now got a shade in his palette. Like, I can be walking around, people can walk around, and people are like, oh, I showed you went, and just wearing Tanacon. Like, it's just, oh, I love it. The only thing is, it's in the palette controversy. No, it's in the palette conspiracy. Whereas, personally, I would have put it in the mini controversy palette. Just because Cat. Tanacon was a controversy but like that's just my opinion and my opinion doesn't matter i'm gonna hop on the bandwagon as soon and i mean as soon as it comes out oh by the way for my contour and bronzer i use the sephora bronzing powder like that hula bronzer by benefit and then i also use the bourgeois bronzer don't know what the name is it's french um honestly for my brows i just stayed with the collection powder blush i used model co blush cheek powder in the shade peach bellini 02 and then i mixed it with the mua pixel perfect multi blush because i do love this it gives you a nice shine um so there is that on to eyeshadow i'm quite excited for it because i'm using I thought I'd go nice and do a gold eye. I'm using this eyeshadow for the first time ever. I got it when I went to, I believe, when I went to Italy. Yeah, when I went to Italy, they had a Kiko store. 
let's have a kiki. Um, and I bought it then, but I haven't used it. So I thought today, today's the day. And I'm also using the Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsessions Palette, which I love just because how beautiful the shades are. And I bought this when I was in Barcelona last year from the Sephora in there. Well, where is my eyeshadow? Does it make anyone else happy when you get like a really good base on your shadow or your face? And you're just like, this is it. This means that I'm going to have a good like, a good face today. So then that means that you can actually take good photos. You can walk around being confident. Just live your best life. Because I love it when that happens. I don't know what to get. Like, I don't, because I, I really want the clear gloss from their collection more than anything in this world. And I wish that was a joke. I really wish that was a joke. I'm here for the clear gloss, really. So, I'm thinking clear gloss and then the mini controversy palette. But then I really just want the conspiracy palette because it's beautiful. The colours are beautiful. Tanacons in there. And the shades are more my shades. Like, the shades in the Mini Controversy palette I would use, but I feel like I'm more likely to use the shades in the Conspiracy palette. I don't know. I'm just conflicted. I don't know what to do because I don't have enough money to buy the Conspiracy palette and the Clear Gloss. So it's either the Mini Controversy and the Clear Gloss or just the Conspiracy. And that infuriates me like that makes me sad and depressed and don't know what to do about it like that's such a first world issue and like i'm not even bothered about it anyone else sometimes just forget how to do makeup like you haven't done it in ages and you're just like well yeah that's how you do it my birthday's next month and i'm so excited for it because i'll be able to drive <laughs> that means come drive with me when i pass my test honestly i'm so pumped for it it's a joke like, I will just be driving to McDonald's all the time filming, like, come get, come drive with me. Come drive with me, let's drive, let's drive away. My contour's are really good today, and I'm here for it. I'm here for everything today. Like, when you see my outfit, you'll be like, oh, girl. Because I was when I managed to put it together somehow. Ever put together an outfit, and you're, like, shocked that you've managed to complete that, and you, you, you're like, you, you've managed to do that. Because that was me when I put the outfit together that I'm wearing tonight. I was like, I'm shocked at my ability here. Do I put this on with my finger? Or do I put this on with... I've got makeup everywhere, but when do I not? Or do I put this on with a brush? What it comes out like. It's quite beautiful if I do say so myself. What's it come like, like on a brush then? Let's have a look, lads. Let's have a look. I'm really sorry to who I've offended with that accent because it was really bad. My apologies. I'll sit on a brush. And it looks like the finger it is. Transfer is not going well. This is a product that looks better in the pan and I'm not here for that. This is so disappointing. That is the most disappointing thing to ever happen to me. Um, it looks cute, I guess, but I mean, it could be doing better, I'm not gonna lie to you. I was gonna put eyeliner on, but honestly, I don't know if I can be bothered just mess this eye up because i ran out of the normal one i use so that means i've got to use a dodgy one and i'm not that talented look at my fingers from this situation i'm not happy about it i'm not happy about this kiko i personally think that shimmer eyeshadows because should come with a guide of how to applicate and how best to applicate it because i'm fed up of trying to work out how to put a shimmer eyeshadow on and then it looking like absolute poo fed up of it it's all just blumming wiped off lads what if i try this one in this palette looks bad really doesn't it oh this is a shambles it's all gone crumbly even better i think let's just leave it there whilst before i end up getting angry and the entire eye comes up crumbling into my arm do i like it absolutely not it's ruined my whole face now i feel it's going great until I did that eyeshadow. Makes me sad. Oh, I'm done with it now. I'm having a paddy. I'm over the look. I'm over the face. If this entire video wasn't me just going from, oh, I feel good to, I feel shit in 0.2 seconds, I don't know what was. 
I'm done with it. I'm done. I'm going to take the roll and lash it from Benefit and hope that it makes everything look a little bit better. I don't even care what I look like at this point. That is the end. That's, that's it. I'm over. I'm over with for this, this entire makeup look today. I have a really funny story time, actually. I accidentally got a job the other day. Well, I say the other day. It was like about like three weeks ago. So, there's this chippy that in the high street where I live. And I've been going in there like all summer. And by like all summer, I mean like I've been in there a good like three, four times a week. Getting chips after I've been like out drinking and stuff. And <laughs> my best friend at the time always used to like to go in there and ask if they sold kitchens and rugs just because it was funny we it was like jokes we were like ha ah, so funny i mean when you look at it it's just stupid but like we all just found it funny like we, we were in absolute bits every time in the other week and then the person at the tour asked me where all my friends were i was like they're at home it's like a wednesday we ain't out mate we're back to school leave me alone sort of thing and then um he was like, you got a job? And I was like, no, because I'm an honest person. I'm quite innocent. I don't know what's going on. I'm quite naive in that sort of sense. And then he was like, you can work here. And I was like, oh. And so then he was like, where'd you live? And I was like, wow, well, I live in this town. And then he was like, yeah, but where? And I was like, all right, let's stop with the interrogation, you weirdo. Um, I was just like, just, just around this town because i'm not gonna tell him where i live do you know what i mean it's just a bit dodgy so then um i went he was like oh give me your number and your name and i shall ring you and get one of the english staff to talk to you and i was like okay didn't have a choice wrote it down left i was like oh thank you appreciate it i walked out Turned around to my mum I was like, you'll never guess what's just happened. She was like, what? And I was like, I just accidentally got myself a job. And he was fully stood in there talking to me. Talking about the new staff he's just employed. About a uniform I'm going to wear. And I'm just like, I just want my chips and to go home. I'm going to be I'm gonna be honest with you, mate. I don't want to be here talking to you sort of thing. And anyway, I was like, I'll ring you, I'll ring you later on. Like, okay, you do that. No way for a while, I'm not going to answer the phone to you. So, he rings me up. I, I don't answer. Rings me again. I don't answer. Rings me again. I don't answer. And I'm like, it's, this person's a bit persistent. He really wants me to have this job, doesn't he? So then, I turn up my phone and it's like, oh, a voicemail. And I was like, they've left me a voicemail. They've left me a voicemail. So, I waited until the next day. They met, they, they phoned me about like 10, half 10 on the wednesday i didn't open their voicemail until 6 p.m on the thursday because i just didn't want to do anything and it was literally them going um you start at 12 today just come in we'll give you a uniform and you can start right away no job interview no no details nothing just come in you've got the job at 12 well, obviously, I was at school at 12. I didn't open this voicemail until, like, God knows how many hours after I was meant to be there. So I didn't ring them back. I was just like, ah, they know at this point. I've not turned up, have I? No. They still proceed to ring me. For another two weeks after it. So I had to block the number. And I ain't been back since. I don't have any t intentions of going back either. It's just don't want to deal with it really. A lighter time. We're going to use a Fendi Beauty if I can actually get it open. Oh, this, I bought this when I was in Barcelona in the Sephora. I went hams. I spent like £120. It was a great day for me. Um, but yeah, it's just like the most beautiful highlighter I have ever purchased or worn in my life. And I wish that that was, um, I wish that was me being overdramatic, but it's not, sadly. It doesn't really match my skin tone, but it does this, so I don't actually care. It's too beautiful. You are beautiful, no matter what they say. That's what I say to this highlighter. Rose can be beautiful. Oh, I'm in love with this. 
I haven't used this highlighter in ages. I've forgotten how much I love it. Highlight. Pop it. I'm saying. Right, lipstick time. We've gone a little bit. Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in. I don't know whether it's the lip liner is called Lip Cheat or whether that's the name. No, I think the shade's called Savage Rose. And the lip liner is called Lip Cheat. That's when you know it's expensive. Right, so there's my lip liner. And then we've got oh, it's such a beautiful colour of red. Um, this Ted Baker lipstick. Lips are the most lopsided thing ever. I was going to put this Charlotte Tilbury Lead Lip Gloss over it, but I don't think it's going to look nice. It does add the extra mile. I'm not going to lie to you. It looks quite cute. Oh, I'm quite vibing off this look now. Back to 100. <laughs> Tee hee. So, yeah. I'm gonna go and get ready and then we can see the full outfit together with the makeup look and see how it see how the vibe is for tonight. So yeah, here's my completed look. The makeup, my little ears, I think they look so cute. They're giving me dangerous woman vibes. Then I've got the collar with the little cute things, the bodysuit with the little vinyl skirt with the knee highs. Obviously this is my new little layout, cute. So yeah, here it is in its full glory hope you've enjoyed today's video give it a massive thumbs up subscribe comment down below any videos you want to see me do and i'll see you guys in my next video bye